<laughs> These are the marshmallow switches. They are a linear switch that is made by Thicktalk and manufactured by JWWK. It has a custom nylon housing and palm stem and uses Thicktalk's Progressive MP Series 68 gram spring. Hold up. Am I wearing the same shirt? Three videos in a row? I gotta see this. Hold on. I actually gotta see this. More stable, reduced wobble, and rip housing similar to their tangies and kiwis come lightly. Son of a bitch! I did wear this three videos in a row. Fuck! Question is do I wear a new shirt right now? Fuck it, three videos in a row, let's go. When I first heard about these switches, I was very interested in the idea of a progressive spring switch, which means that as you press more on the switch, the force that it requires becomes gradually greater. At the time I was looking for these switches to purchase, they had been out of stock on all vendor sites. So, I waited patiently, and sure enough, they were being restocked on the ThickThock website. So, I got my chance to purchase these switches, waited around two to three weeks for them to arrive, took them out of the packaging and placed them into the old reliable GK61 and tried the switches out. The stock experience of these switches are pretty good. I mean, they are stock, so you have a bit of ping in some sort and have that hollow sound to the switch. So later on, I realized that the GK61 is a pretty hollow board and sound is not as isolated. So I decided to place these switches into my Monster Gear board to see how they sound in there, and it is much easier to notice things. I need a better board. I thought the car would be the best option for sound testing, but I think I need something that is aluminum, like, yeah, I'm I'm gonna look into this. The, to the one guy I wrote a whole paragraph about the GK61 for a few videos back, I take back what I said and uh, I apologize. I'll find an alu board to do sound testing. Switches sound scratchy, but don't feel scratchy, and they also do have spring ping coming from the switches. I mean, as TikTok have stated, these switches would be perfectly fine going into a board stock, but come on now. Who would do that? Right? How about the lubed experience of these switches? For these switches, as always, I lubed them with Crytox 205 grade 0 on the top and bottom housings and stem, and spring lubed with Crytox 105 grade 0. These switches lubed are amazing. The spring ping coming from the switches are now gone. Scratchy sounds of these switches are also gone. And the smoothness of these switches are magnificent.
Fee. The progressive springs that these switches have are noticeable. Like as you type, it does feel like it pushes against your fingers. I mean, for me, I like myself a good old heavy switch, so I don't really notice it, but the progressive linear does work. I was a progressive denier. I thought that shit was fake, but I don't, I don't know why I did, but since the housing of these switches are nylon, I will be comparing these switches to another nylon housing switch. The lavenders. Compared to the lavender switches, the marshmallow switches are slightly heavier and have a slightly deeper pitched actuation as well. Smoothness wise, it is a bit harder to compare, but I would have to lean slightly more towards the marshmallows being smoother, but they aren't noticeably smooth. They're like 1% more smoother. So would I recommend these switches? Hell yeah. These switches are really smooth linears. They have a progressive spring inside them. So if you're interested in exploring and trying out some progressive switches, these are a great option to try out. These switches cost around $7 for 10 switches. So around 70 cents per switch. At the time of recording, they are out of stock. So if you are looking into purchasing them, be on the lookout for the restock. Hello, Mario. So thank you for watching this video. I know it's a very short review of the, the switches, but like these switches are perfectly fine the way they are. There's there's really nothing that I could critique on or like talk shit on, unlike a lot of the other switches that I've reviewed. But yeah, I hope, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Uh, you can also check out my other videos. And if you like those videos, why don't you hit that subscribe button, you know what I'm saying? I also have a Twitch. Um, we do keyboard stuff over there as well. Here's a clip of some of the things that I do over there. I can't believe I fucking said that shit. What the fuck is wrong? Who the fuck says that? Who the f Who says that? Wackiest of the fuckiest? Excuse me? You do! Shit. Fuck. 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 Motherfucker now cringing at himself? Yeah. Who wouldn't be? So thank you for watching. Um. So thank you for watching, um, shit. So thank you for watching and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace.